tireless despite his old age, Godwin Titi Agilogo is, for some, a fighter, for others, the non-born with grey hair is a brave dean, one of the few who does not miss any opportunity to light the lantern of youth on history, the many struggles waged by the founding fathers of the Republic for a cessation of Togo to international sovereignty, Godwin Titi Agilogo blew out his 95 candles yesterday Monday 16 January, 2023. We are in the late 1980s, media outlets such as Radio France International, the late Radio Africa in Degawan as well as Togolese public channels widely echoed a case of false flyers with the arrest by the border police at the Fay airport. How far Wanyi likes an Abidjan of two Togolese citizens, the official at the retirement and historian Godwin Tete, coming from Paris, he was arrested with three suitcases of almost 2,000 copies of the Alternative, Manifesto of the Democratic Convention of the African Peoples, CDPA a political movement evolving underground, came to welcome him, Prof. Daniel Kuviaka it was also arrested, after escaping extradition to Lomé, the two companions were evacuated to Paris after a few days of detention, despite his old age, Titivi Godwin Titi Agilogo is still alert and looking for any opportunity to inform the opinion through his diverse writings and his interventions on the media and the party's meeting and demonstrations politics of opposition, he is also strongly known as the late Hayden Dope patronil born Dagbe, commonly known as Attack Pemater who died in January 2020 in Lomé, born to Togolese parents, Godwin Titi Agilogo saw the day on 16 January, 1928 in Ahau Anger on the shores of Lake Ahime, Bopa, disciple of Patience Sanvi, future cloth dealer and optician Christian Kwake, he successfully studied at the Evangelical Mission School and then at the Higher Primary School, Eps, of Lomé, known as Petit Dakar, arrived in France to continue his studies at the École Supérieure des Travaux Publics, ESTP, Léon Eadles in the VA arrondissement of Paris to become an engineer, Godwin Tete, Agilogo reorientated himself by studying law and economics at the Sorbonne before heading to Prague and former Czechoslovakia, he studies economy there before returning to the Berkeley shortly after Togo gained independence, he worked at the Agriculture Service for the Presidency of the Republic, under the Nicholas Grunitsky regime, as an economic advisor, after an internship at the Institute for Economic Development of the World Bank in Washington, Titivi Godwin Titi Agilogo served for many years as civil administrator, successively in Abidjan, Ivory Coast, Dakar, Senegal, Lagos to Nigeria, Addis Ababa to Ethiopia then Kigali Rwanda under the authority from UNICEF until retiring in January 1984, warrior in the soul, he worked during his student career in associations such as Jean Togo or the Federation of the Associations of African Black Students in France, FINF, with tenors such as Dr. Albert Dosse Franklin and Noah for the Little One. Tireless historian of his time former delegate of the National Sovereign Conference in July-August 1991 in Lomé, Godwin Titivi Tete Agilogo was a member of the High Council of the Republic, HCR, Transitional Parliament in Togo, founding member of the Democratic Convention of the African Peoples, CDPA. He is the author of many works including the Togolese Question Again, Sheikh Anta Diop and the African Renaissance, Omar Adote, a political martyr of Togo, from German colonization to German Togo and the nigger question, some crucial pieces of Togo's contemporary history, my political will, the pan-Africanists itinerary, African people, let's take our destiny in our hands, semicolon Sylvanus Olympio, father of the Togolese nation, the negro question, history of Togo, in five volumes, dialectics of democracy development in Africa, and many more published mostly in the Harmattan editions. Papa Kobe is a founding member and also an honorary member of the National Alliance for Change, ANC, to the I, the witness and the historian of his time, happy birthday, copyright sign, Ekawe Sacha V.